transformation, rotation around the origin. What is it? Process that manipulates a polygon on a plane or coordinate system. Y helps to create mosaics. Interesting fact. A giant panda cub weighs only 150 grams or 5 ounces at birth. Now, here are the examples that we're going to be discussing in today's video. And before we get started with example one, let's talk about what we're going to be doing. We have two types of rotation, clockwise and counterclockwise. If we're asked to rotate an image 90 degrees clockwise, the point xy becomes y negative x. If we're asked to rotate an image 180 degrees clockwise, the point xy becomes negative x, negative y. If we're asked to rotate an image 270 degrees clockwise, the point xy becomes negative y, x. If we take a look at the counterclockwise, the notation is very similar. The notation for 180 degrees is the same, and the notation for 90 degrees and 270 degrees have flip-flopped from clockwise. And that is because when we add the pair of numbers for the green numbers, the blue numbers, and the red numbers, they give us 360 degrees or a full circle. So where we started is where we ended up. Now, let's take a look at example one. Let's read the steps. Step one, rotate the image. Step two, check with the notation. Now let's read the question. Rotate the pre-image 90 degrees clockwise around the origin. What are the coordinates of the image? Now on the graph, we have the pre-image. Let's overlap it with our image. And now we're going to rotate it 90 degrees clockwise or one quarter turn to the right. Now let's highlight the origin with a yellow circle to help us with the rotation. And now we're going to draw three dotted lines to three vertices. You could do more, but then it becomes a little cluttered. And now we're going to start the rotation and we're slowly moving it to the right. As we can see, the dotted lines stay the same length. And that's because the image does not change shape. All we're changing is the angle where the pre-image started. Now we're going to add the three original dotted lines and that is so we can see what angle they form. We're going to focus on the red dotted lines. They form a 90 degree angle. Let's move on to the purple dotted lines. They also form a 90 degree angle. And now let's focus on the green dotted lines. They also form a 90 degree angle. And that is because the question asks us to rotate the image 90 degree clockwise. Now we're going to add points to our pre-image to answer the question or the coordinates of the image. And now we're going to label each one. If you need help labeling, there will be a video in the comments below. Now let's focus on A prime. A prime is 1, negative 1. B prime is 4, negative 1. C prime is 4, negative 2. D prime is 3, negative 2. E prime is 3, negative 4. F prime is 1, negative 4. Now, let's compare each point in the pre-image to each point in the image. There is a pattern or rule. Pause the video to see if you can find it. And this pattern or rule is xy becomes y negative x. And what does that mean? The x part in the pre-image now becomes negative and is now the y part of your image. And the y part of your pre-image now becomes the x part of your image. And there we have our answers. Now another thing that is special about this is that 270 degrees counterclockwise is the same. And the reason for that is because when we add 270 degrees and 90 degrees, it is 360 degrees or a complete circle. So where you begin is where you end up. Now let's take a look at example two. Now let's read the question. Rotate the pre-image 90 degrees counterclockwise around the origin. What are the coordinates of the image? The pre-image is already graphed for us. So now we're going to overlap it with an image and we're going to rotate it to the left one quarter turn because it asks us to rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise. And now we're going to put a yellow circle at the origin. And now we're going to draw three dotted lines to the three closest vertices. You can do more, but it gets cluttered and it'd be hard to see. 
and now we're going to rotate it to the left one quarter turn as we can see slowly but surely we're getting to 90 degrees and the dotted lines stay the same length because the image does not change shape all we're changing is the angle where the pre-image started we are going to add the three original dotted lines so we can see what angle is formed between each color now let's focus just on the red dotted lines to see what angle is formed and that is 90 degrees now let's move on to the purple dotted lines and the angle that is formed is 90 degrees as well and now let's focus on the green dotted lines and the angle that is formed is also 90 degrees and that is just like the question asks where it asks us to rotate the period image 90 degrees counterclockwise around the origin we are going to label each point and if you need a refresher on how to do that there will be a link for you in the comments below now we're going to find a prime and a prime is negative 1 1 b prime is negative 4 1 c prime is negative 4 2 d prime is negative 3 2 e prime is negative 3 4 and f prime is negative 1 4 now let's compare each point of the pre-image to each point of the image. There's a pattern or a rule. Pause the video to see if you can find that pattern or rule. And that pattern or rule is xy becomes negative yx. And what does that mean? The x part of the pre-image becomes the y part of your image. And the y part of your pre-image becomes negative and is the x part of your image. And these are your answers for example 2 and another thing that is cool about it is that 270 degrees clockwise is the same and now we're going to go ahead and take a look at example 3 let's read the question rotate the pre-image 180 degrees clockwise around the origin what are the coordinates of the image let's overlap it with an image and now we're going to rotate it clockwise 180 degrees but before we do that let's add our yellow circle at the origin and let's draw three dotted lines to the closest three vertices once again you could do more but then it becomes cluttered and now we're going to rotate it right two quarter turns or a half turn we're slowly moving it about the dotted lines stay the same length because the image does not change shape all we are changing is the angle where the pre-image started. Now we're going to add the three original dotted lines to see what angle is formed between each color. We're going to focus on the two red dotted lines to see what angle is formed and it is 180 degrees. Why is that? Well, the two red dotted lines overlap the diameter of that half circle and a half circle is 180 degrees and also a straight line is 180 degrees now let's focus on the two purple dotted lines once again same scenario so we know that that angle is 180 degrees and now let's focus on the two green dotted lines and it is the same scenario so we know that the angle that is formed is 180 degrees now let's add some points to our pre-image so we can answer the question what is the coordinates of the image and now we're going to label each point on the pre-image and if you need a refresher on how to do that there will be a link in the comments below let's find a prime a prime is negative 1 negative 1 b prime is negative 1 negative 4 c prime is negative 2 negative 4 d prime is negative 2 negative 3 E prime is negative 4, negative 3. F prime is negative 4, negative 1. Now let's compare each point in the pre image to each point in the image. There is a pattern or a rule. Pause the video to see if you can find it. And that rule or pattern is xy becomes negative x, negative y. And what does that mean? For every x in the pre-image, it becomes negative and is the x for the image. And for every y in the pre-image, it becomes negative and is the y for the image. And those are our answers for example 3. And another cool fact is that 
180 degrees counterclockwise is the same. Now it is your turn to go ahead and pause the video so you can take your time to answer the question and I will show you the results in three, two, and one. If you got them correct, well done. If not, there's always tomorrow.